Hey family, so for this chat, I am going to demystify life coaching. So if you are meeting me for the very first time, my name is Lakeisha Wooder and I am your sister coach and also the founder of A Sister's Truth. And I teach high achieving women how to find fulfillment by gaining clarity on their purpose and create a customized action plan to pursue it. And so in this video, I just wanted to just sit down and have a little chat um, with you and demystify life coaching. I wrote out some questions that I want to discuss and cover um, with you on today. So if you see me looking down, it's because I do have my notes. And another reason why I wanted to do this particular video is because I realized that not everybody know what life coaching is or what a life coach does does or why you would actually need a life coach so a friend of mine that's also one of my accountability partners encouraged me to do this particular chat because for whatever reason i just thought that everybody knows what i know <laughs> and obviously that's not the case so today we're going to demystify life coaching Another reason why is because if you are familiar with me, then you know that over the last month or two, my brand has had a upgrade, had an upgrade, if you will. And so I no longer provide life coaching services on a, um, on a, um, session by session basis, if you will. So I've upgraded my life coaching services to actually um, a three month program. So there's a three month self-awareness coaching program that I now have and provide. And so I just thought this would be a great way to come on here and talk to you about life coaching, demystify it and explain to you why I decided to upgrade to a three month program, a three month self-awareness coaching program all right so for more information about the program you can head over to lakeishawooder.com that's lakeisha l-a-k-i-t-i-a woodard.com so i'm just gonna go ahead and and just pop right in and i also okay before i even get there let's just go ahead and, and pop right in so i was about to get ahead of myself so what is a life coach okay what is a life coach and what is life coaching so in really really simple terms a life coach or life coaching if you will a life coach coach is somebody who will help you to identify goals that you have either personally or professionally and put together an action plan to achieve those goals in simple terms that's that's what a life coach does and that's what a life coach is in simple terms just like that so why would you need a life coach? You would need a life coach if you are if you are experiencing mindset blocks, roadblocks that are preventing you from identifying and achieving your goals, right? There is something that is, you know, standing in the way of you uh, achieving your goals. So a life coach will help you to identify what those roadblocks are and help you to burst through them not just maneuver around them, but burst through them so you can actually achieve what it is that you want to achieve and live the life that you desire and deserve, okay? So what is my niche and why? So because life coaching is such a broad term and a broad perspective, and there's so many different life coaches that you can go, you know, that you can, you know, seek help from, my niche is self-awareness. So I am your self-awareness coach. And the reason why I choose self-awareness is because a lot of my practice is based off of my life's journey. And it was self-awareness that helped me to transition from victim to survivor of sexual abuse. And because, you know, my self-awareness or self-discovery journey helped me to achieve the level of success that I have achieved thus far in my life, this is what I teach my clients to tap into because I have a personal experience with leaning on and using self-awareness as a tool in order to live my purpose-driven life. And so this is why I teach, you know, my clients to do the same thing and to teach them how to tap into self-awareness. Because in all honesty, anytime I sit down and just have just a casual conversation with somebody, um, because I'm the type of person that is real easy for you to talk to and i'm always talking to somebody and they're just you know giving me all the goods if you will because i'm just that type of person i just got the gift um of listening if you will um but just from like casual conversation i realized that 
you know, most times we lack self-awareness. We lack self-awareness. So it's the reason why we have the mindset blocks that we have. It's the reason why we are too afraid to go in and ask for the praise. It's the reason why we are, you know, spending our whole lives people pleasing because we feel as though that, you know, we need this validation and acceptance from people instead of just knowing who we are, knowing our self-worth, and knowing that we are qualified and worthy of living and having a life that we desire and we deserve. But once we tap into that self-awareness and we know that concept, it becomes easier. It becomes easier. It doesn't mean that, you know, it, it self-awareness eliminates all <laughs> trials and tribulations, but it does become easier and then self-awareness also helps you to see you know who you are for yourself and helps you to you know operate from an authentic place but it also helps you to um, see and understand how others see you and view you as well because knowing how some how somebody else sees you is just as important now don't get don't get it twisted about getting caught up on, you know, the haters or the people that throw shade. Like, don't get caught up on that. But it is always good to, to know how others see you because, you know, most times we don't even recognize our own gifts and talents because they're so natural. We're just naturally good at doing certain things. So much so that we don't put the two together that this natural gift and skill that we have is tied to purpose. And sometimes it takes somebody on the outside seeing us operate from, you know, operate um, with using our natural gifts and talents to, to tell us, you know, what that is to point us in the right direction. Or we just need somebody to give us that um, constructive criticism, if you will, because they see something in us that's actually blocking us from achieving a success that we, that we want to achieve. So that's the reason why my niche is self-awareness. And so I also focus on self-awareness so you can know exactly what it is that I am going to help you with. All right. Especially if you are the person that you feel find yourself having like an identity crisis or you're in the middle of a midlife crisis if you will i'm the perfect coach to help you out because my whole coaching program my whole business is based off of self-awareness right and when you're having an identity crisis the best place to start is with self-awareness and it's that so that you know 95 percent of people think they're self-aware but only 10 to 15 percent of people truly are so if you think you already know yourself, nine times out of ten, you probably don't. And so, me and you need to talk. <laughs> so that's my niche and why. So the next question, what sets me apart from other life coaches? Well, the, the main thing that sets me apart from other life coaches is that I share my life experiences with my clients. And the, the second thing that my business is based off of is sisterhood, self-awareness and sisterhood. Because you know, I'm all about creating this sisterly bond with my clients. And the best way to do that is by sharing my story of how I transitioned from victim to survivor of sexual abuse. And I do that for several reasons. And the main reason is, is because I want you to know that despite what it is that you have gone through, despite what it is you have gone through, that you are qualified to live the life that you desire and deserve. I want you to know that despite what you have done, what you have gone through in your life, God can and will and is still using you. But how would you know that if nobody is sharing their testimony? So for me, I'm sharing my testimony. And because I'm in this space of life coaching, for me to truly you know, have the ability to help my clients, they have to you know, reveal some really dark you know, fears to me, fears that they may not even like necessarily talk to, to their husbands, their good girlfriends, you know, or their mom or whomever, right? But they need to share those deep, dark fears with me. So in order to create a, a space where they feel safe enough to feel vulnerable with me, I share my personal life story throughout the the whole um, coaching pro um, process. And also, I want you to see and know that I actually practice what I preach. <laughs> I know that sounds cliche, but I do. I actually practice what it is that I am teaching my clients to do. So that's why my coaching practice is based off of a proven program, if you will, because this is what I lived. 
right? This is how I've been able to, you know, receive the level of success that I've received in, in my life. Um, and then also as well that, you know, there's nothing new up under the sun. So a lot of the issues that most of you are having, I've had them too in some way, shape, form, or another. And it's our common life issues that links us together and makes us sisters. So we are already sisters, right? You know, um, we're not sisters by, by blood relation. We're sisters by situational, right? Because we've all experienced common life issues. And so that, you know, uh, makes us sisters. And so me sharing my story also happens to just helps me to like really strengthen that bond between me and my clients. So next question, who do I serve? Okay, so I serve high achieving women. High achieving women who is the epitome of success. They have, you know, received every accolade and have jumped over every mountain and have gone through the dungeons and has landed on this level of success according to society. But for whatever reason, for whatever reason, they still lack fulfillment. And they are now at a point in their life where they just want to operate from purpose. And so that is the woman that I serve, the woman who is ready to operate in her purpose and just be more fulfilled and live a meaningful life, right? So women. Um, but I have coached uh, I, ha I have had my first male coaching client, and I will coach men and young adults on a case-by-case -case basis. Reach out to me. Um, send me an email at info at LakeishaWooder.com if you are a male seeking, you know, coaching, or if you have, you know, a young adult child um, that you want to have coached. You know, that's something that I will take into consideration on a case-by-case -case basis. But the people that I serve are women, 25 to 45, who are high achieving, puts everybody else before themselves and ready and who's ready to operate in their purpose because they lack fulfillment in their lives. So um, I also want to, to address a misconception about me because if you have heard me speak in any form or fashion, then you already have an idea of what my story is. And you know that I was sexually abused for eight years by my mother's husband. And so the misconception is, is that I only serve or work with, you know, women who have been sexually abused. And that's a misconception because I do not. I do not work with women through the healing process of healing from sexual abuse or any trauma of, of for that matter, you know, my clients are, you know, typically, you know, women who have already gone through and healed from some traumatic event, and now they want to move forward with their lives. And so they come to me and I coach them through that process. But if you want to be coached through a healing process, then I can leave you a recommendation. I'll leave a link below this video because that's, that's not what I do. So I have turned away, you know, women who have come to me because they resonate with my story, um, because they too were sexually abused as a child and they just haven't dealt with it yet. So they have reached out to me for help with their healing process. And that's not what I, that's, that's not what I do. Um, but I can definitely give you resources to give you the help that you need. And the reason, and another reason why I don't do it too is because there's a fine line between coaching and therapy and I'm not a licensed therapist, okay? My educational background is not in counseling. So in real particular or not, you know, coaching women through a traumatic experience. So I just wanted to clear up that misconception because I do share my story a lot and I will continue to share my story because unfortunately there are people out there who are hurting and they need to hear testimonies of other people who have gone through the fire, the same fire that they are either currently in or out of, but they still cannot receive or, or still haven't um, got to a place of healing and they need to know that it's possible. So I will continue to share my story um, for that reason alone. Uh, and then also just to continue to make sure that I am strengthening that bond with my clients. So I just wanted to clear up that misconception. 
So now you're probably wondering what are some results um, that I have given to previous clients and what results that you can receive from working with me. Well, after working with me, you are going to be very clear on your purpose because number one, I truly believe that we all have a purpose and a calling in our life. And I also believe that you don't have to find it because a lot of people are confused about the fact that they have to find their purpose. But if you believe that you have a purpose and you believe that there is a God, because I am a god fearing woman, I am a Christian, because I believe this, I also believe that God is not going to give me something and then hide it from me. He's not going to do that. So our purpose was given to us before we were formed in our mother's womb. So if I believe that, I have to believe that it's not hidden from me. It's just that the things that we have gone through in life <laughs> has caused us to build up these walls and barriers between who we are and our purpose. So we're not able to really like see and tap into it. Does that make sense? So, you know, with me through the coaching program, I help you to get clear on what that purpose is and then help you create an actual, an actual strategy on how to pursue it and operate from a place of purpose. And then throughout the, the culture program too, a lot of different mindset blocks come, um, come up that we actually work through, right? We actually work through those things together. Like I literally jump in the trenches with you. I literally jump in the trenches with you. That's another reason why I share my personal story with my clients as well, because I want them to know that I'm in this with you. I'm 100% in this with you. So it's not just me, like you come in and, and we realize through a coaching session that for whatever reason, you are, you know, um, working in a particular field because you know your mom worked in that particular field right and so you just want to uphold family tradition i'm not just gonna say okay we'll go and just write a story on, on on the why and then we'll move on no like me and you we are deep diving into that thing and getting to the root of why you feel that way we get into the root of why you feel like you have to please your mom and we get into the root of that and so from that deep dive if it's discovered that maybe you need to go through there some type of therapy session then you know i may put the coaching sessions on pause because uh, you guys if you follow me for any length of time you know how i feel what i feel about therapy therapy is crucial and i do not want to deny you from getting the the proper help that you need so um i will put the coaching sessions on hold right i haven't had to do that um you know yet i may have to in the future but there is a clause in my contract that gives me you know the right to do that and puts you on notice that that i will do that so you know in the past i've helped my clients to burst through mindset blocks you know to help them um write their book start youtube channels become influencers i've helped you know moms you know remove that mom guilt that they have you know because they want to give everything you know to their kids but they in in doing so they're giving them they giving their all and they're losing themselves you know in the process so i've helped moms get over that mom guilt into you know uh, reconnect with their own personal identity and not feel bad about it because you can be your own person and a mom or a parent at the same time. That is possible. So I've helped my clients to, you know, to, to get over that hump, my mom clients. I've also helped clients who wanted to, like, make sure that their business is in alignment with their life and their purpose. Because I've had clients who come to me and they know they have the purpose, but they're not quite clear on what that purpose is. And then they want to get clarity on it and make sure that their business aligns up with it. Does that make sense? So I've helped my clients through that process as well. So as you can see, I've helped clients, you know, with a variety of different things because, you know, we all have a variety of different, you know, um, mindset blocks that we have to to get over and you know and get through so whatever it is that you're going through right now if you want to know if i can help you specifically then just reach out to me you can send me an email at info at and then you can find out more about uh, my transformational stories on my website as well lakeishawooder.com so another question another question 
Okay, so my um, educational background and a short summary of my life's trajectory. So I have a bachelor's in business administration with a concentration in management. I also have a master's degree in global management. And I've also done one year of law school, have over 14 years of corporate experience up under my belt as well. I am a first generational any and everything in my family. The first to graduate high school, go to college, write a book, buy a house, go to law school, you know, all of the things, I am the first generation. I'm also the oldest of all of my sisters and brothers. So, you know, growing up in the projects with a mom who didn't graduate from high school, my dad didn't either. And um, growing up with an absentee father, you know, I've done pretty much everything on my own having to figure it out on my own. And so the whole, my whole self-awareness journey from victim to survivor of sexual abuse, there has been a lot of ups and downs on that journey. There's been a lot of things I had to overcome in order to get to where I am today, where I am, you know, um, happily married for five years, you know, to a man who is completely opposite of my mother's husband, who was my, my abuser. And for a long time, um, I had this, this list. <laughs> I do like this because this is how long my list was, you know, of the perfect mate for me. And through my, you know, continuation of my self-awareness journey and my healing journey, I realized that this list that I had put together to ensure that I wouldn't date somebody that was like my abuser, I realized that that list was created from a place of hurt. That, you know, a, the, the victim version of, of Keisha created that list. And so when I was in the market and decided that I was ready to settle down and meet somebody and get married, I, had, I realized that I was no longer that victim who created that list, that I was a survivor. And I had, you know, um, I had already like, um, uh, I just lost my train of thought. I've already like, um, patched up, if you will, for lack of a better phrase, you know, relationship with, with my mom. I had already forgiven my abuser. I have already done so much in my life that I was no longer that victim. So I tossed that list out and, you know, started dating. And not too long after that, I met my husband and we got married and now I'm living happily ever after, so to speak. Because... <laughs> Because marriage is a whole nother beast, right? No, my marriage is, is not perfect. But I tell you what it's not. It's not an abusive marriage. And when hubby and I, you know, have kids, I'll be able to sleep and rest at night knowing that he's not going to be creeping into my, you know, my son or my daughter's room. I can tell you that, you know, so, um, so yeah, but to get to that, to that point where I am just, um, you know, trusting in myself and in my decisions, that required a whole process. That required a whole process of healing. And so this is what I bring to the coaching program. And this is why I'm qualified to help my clients out because I can sympathize and understand what it is that they're going through. And I provide this safe, judgment-free zone where they can be vulnerable and be open with me so we can work out whatever issues that's standing in the way of them manifesting the life that they desire and, they, and they, that, that they deserve, all right? So now I want to just talk to you a little bit about my, my program. It's a three-month coaching program. And the reason why um, I upgraded it to a three-month coaching program is because this gives me the opportunity to work closer with my clients, number one, on a, for a long-term basis, as opposed to them coming and purchasing one session and then maybe purchase, purchasing another session. And then also this three-month coaching program requires a commitment. It requires a commitment because any level of success that you want to achieve in your life, any level, in any area of your life, is going to require a commitment from you to do the work. And so this is me getting that commitment from my clients up front 
that they're in it for the long haul, right? And that, you know, they're committed to, the, to doing the work. Because if you show up, if you just give me 50%, I'm going to show up at 150%, right? To help you along your process. So you can live the life that you deserve and you desire. Because I want you to do that. I want you, you know, to live happily and fulfilled, you know, um, and operate from your purpose. I want you, you know, I want you to have that. So to do that, I upgraded the program to a three-month coaching program. So this also helps me to, you know, work with my clients for a longer period of time and, you know, and, and create and really establish that sisterly bond that I want to establish with my clients. Because now that I have a three-month coaching program, I'm taking in less clients. All right. I'm taking in less clients, you know, at one time, you know, for the year, I have a quota of clients that I'm going to coach for the year, um, if you will, because this is going to help me to really have the ability to deep dive in with my clients and do the work. I deep dive in there with you to help you do the work. So if you that person, you just need some support, right? You have an inkling of how you want your life to unfold, but you just need that support. I'm the sister coach for you, all right? I'm the sister coach for you because I'm going to deep dive in it with you, right? And we start off with a, a three-month process, right? And so <clears throat> the three-month program, you know, we have one-on-one -on -one video sessions. Now, the reason why I do video as opposed to just talking on the phone is because video helps to create that personable relationship with my clients. I want to see you. I want to see your face and how you react. I want to see your body language when you're talking because the words that come out of your mouth and the language that your body gives off can be two completely different things. And I need to be able to see and hear what you're saying so I can know when to pivot and shift in the moment, right? Because there's definitely a difference. And plus, I want you to see my excitement for, you know, when I'm working with you. I want you to see my excitement. I want you to be able to feel it. And video helps with that. And then also, because I'm not the the, the coach that's going to sugarcoat it for you. Now, I'm also not a militant either, right? Because I truly believe it's not what you say, it's how you say it, right? So I'm not here, you know, to, uh, to disrespect you in any way, but I am here to disrupt and challenge you and disrupt and challenge your ways of thinking and doing things, right? So when I am serious and I need to look you out of eye, like I need to be able to do that and video helps me to do that. All right. So that's the reason why I choose video sessions over just a regular phone conversation. And also doing a video um, session gives me the opportunity to record the sessions. So that way you will receive a recording after each session that we have. So I send out the video recording and the other documents, you know, um, three business days after the session. So that way, when we are, the reason why I do, I send out the video recording. So that way, when we are sitting there and we're talking, we hashing things out, you know, you're not so focused on writing down everything that I'm saying, right? Because you'll be able to get the video later. So if you miss something, it's okay. You'll be able to catch it later, right? Once you get the video. So this just gives, me and my client the opportunity to really just like show up and work that thing out so that's the reason why i do video sessions over an actual phone call and video sessions are on a bi-weekly basis and i don't necessarily have like a set number of sessions that we just have to have or only have throughout that three month period because depending on what's going on with my client, you know, it, it would vary with the number, with the number of sessions, right? But there is a minimum number of sessions that you will definitely get within the three, three month period, right? Just to make sure that there is value, um, that you, make sure that you're receiving value, but it's not necessarily the maximum number. I may change that, you know, later on down the line. I don't know, but that's how it is. That's how it is right now. So we have the video sessions and we do that on a bi-weekly basis. And the reason why it's bi-weekly as opposed to weekly is to give you enough time to like really, you know, um, take in everything that we talked about and to actually do the work. 
because I don't just show up and motivate you, encourage you. No, you do the work. So you walk away with homework that you need to do because what we just talked about, once you learn the tools, I need you to implement them. Tools are, are ineffective if you don't use them and implement them. They become effective when you pick them up and you actually use it, right? So the tools that you learn in the session, I'm going to need you to implement them. And so on a bi-weekly basis, gives you the opportunity to do that and to come back and ask questions, um, you know, in the next actual section. So the process starts off once you book the session, we'll book, you know, book me for the um, coaching program. It, started, it starts off with an intake form. Okay, you have to complete the intake form so I can prepare for you. This is how I get prepared for your, you know, customized coaching program. It's based off the intake form that you complete and turn in to me. And depending on how you fill out that intake form, I may, you know, you know, throw it back to you and be like, I'm going to need you to add a little bit more information to it. So when you are completing the intake form with me, get as detail as possible because the more detail that you give me the better I can customize your program because this is a customized experience right customized experience according to my client and the intake form helps me to customize that experience and then that's when we get started with the actual video sessions so my three-month coaching program starts off with the intake form. Then we have the video sessions that are, that are recorded. And then at the end of each session, you know, you get a coaching guide along with the uh, recorded video. Now, the coaching guide, which is what I'm going to show you in a minute, you know, just <clears throat> gives a brief summary of what it is that we talked about, you know, during that particular session. It gives you a summary of any breakthroughs that you've had throughout the session. It reiterates the homework, you know, what you need to do and when you need to turn it in. And then it has some additional exercises, just general exercises are in the coaching guide to help you overcome different mindset blocks and just help you to just re reconnect with your inner self, right? Because at the end of the day, life happens. Life happens, and sometimes we don't always implement the tools that we learn, so at least you'll have the coaching guide that you can reflect on, right? So you can go back to, oh, what's that thing that Keisha told me to do when I'm in this situation? You can go back to the coaching guide, all right? And so also with my three-month coaching um with my three month coaching program, you have access to me, you know, through email, and you have access to me by phone call. Only my coaching clients have access to this private phone number and this private email address. And I am the only one, no assistance, who responds to, you know, emails in this particular inbox. And I'm the only one who's going to be answering the phone call, right? So I have office hours Monday through Friday where my coaching clients can call me for a quick 20-minute pep talk. Because sometimes you're going to be, you know, right there at the ledge about to jump. And before you jump, I want you to pick up the phone and call your sister coach so I can talk you off the ledge, right? So that's the, you know, the extra value that my clients get in between sessions. When I tell you that I am in this, I am in this. I don't call myself a sister coach for nothing. Because for all of you who are sisters, right, who, where you have blood sisters that you can call and y'all real tight and real close, if something is happening, what you gonna do? You gonna pick up the phone and call your sister, right? Because most times us as women, when we are experiencing something, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's harsh or when we have something that we just really need to, to figure out, the person, our ace boom coon, right? Our homegirl who was our ace boom coon that we always go to, what do we consider her? We consider her our sister. Because when we get past that level of friendship, we become sisters. And what are you able to do? You're able to pick up the phone and call her. And as your sister coach, you have that same ability with me. And this is another reason why I only take a certain number of clients a year. Because I want to be able to, you know, pour into you when you're going through my three-month coaching program as much as possible. And this is what's going to help me to be able to do that. You need to be able to reach me, right? 
So you'll be able to reach me by email or by phone call because sometimes you just need to hear a friendly voice. Sometimes you just need to hear me say those words of, of encouragement as opposed to reading them in the email. Both are effective, but depending on what it is that you're going through, <clears throat> you know, a phone call is, is just better. And so we have the ability to do that, right? Because we're not going to, I'm not going to be in a situation all the time where I could just hop on video like this, right? So we'll hop on an actual phone call, but our scheduled designated bi-weekly sessions will be video. But in between sessions, if you have a quick question that you need to answer real quick or, or something like that, or if you're in the middle of something, you need some quick advice, you can hop on the, on the phone and give me a call between specific office hours. And you get this information once you sign up for the coaching program. All right, so I just want to share my screen really, really quickly just to show you what the guides look like. I want to start off with the coaching guide so you can see what it looks like. Hopefully you can you can see this. So this is just a this is just a template because obviously I'm not going to show you a coaching guide from uh, one of my actual clients because that information is confidential. So this is what the coaching guide looks like. You get a session overview, and I just give you a brief summary of what we talked about on that particular phone call. And then it goes into the homework assignments that you have, and it will also have due dates. <clears throat> and then a summary of breakthroughs, because, you know, uh, when I'm going through coaching sessions, when we're doing those deep dives, we're well, going to experience some breakthroughs. And so this is a great way for me to outline what those breakthroughs are. So that could be something that you can reflect upon. This coaching guide is also a way for you to track your progress and for me to track the progress throughout the coaching program. And it also helps me to make sure that we're not doing the same things over and over again, right? So the coaching um, guide, it, it works to both of our, our benefits. And then this also helps with the customization of my coaching program. And then, you know, here are a couple of exercises. You know, here's an exercise for eliminate self-doubts. These are just general exercises that's going to be in every coaching guide, no matter who the client is. And I created this, you know, eliminate self-doubt with if then statements, because I know I do this myself because this has helped me out in, you know, so many different ways. So that's in the, the, the coaching guide. And then also here's an exercise um, about how to reconnect with your inner wisdom, you know. So this is just something for you to have to help you throughout you know, in, in the in between our sessions and also help you, you know, um, beyond our sessions as well, you know, after, ooh, and I need to update my coaching guide. So, um, and afterwards as, you know, as well after the three month program has ended. So after the, um, <clears throat> after your three month coaching program, you're going to get after, you know, our time has come to an end, you also get a custom strategy. So, <clears throat> this will be like an outline that's given to you based off of what we worked on within that three month period. So you can know what to do next. How are you going to move forward going beyond the three months that we just worked together? So, you know, what is your purpose? And here are some things that, you know, we actually work on some generalized things that we work on that I work on with all of my clients to make sure that their strategy is built on a solid foundation. And then there's going to be, you know, extra um, pages in there too that's going to differ per client based off of what we've worked on for that individual. All right. So this is where the customization of my coaching program comes into comes into play. All right. So this is how the customization, you know, um, <clears throat> comes into play, right? And so the reason why I, you know, I provide you guys with all these documents throughout this coaching program is because <clears throat> I want you to be able to track what we've done. I don't have a problem with tracking what it is that 
that we've done. You know, it's important to me for you to get the video recordings of our sessions, right? Because you're not going to remember everything after we've gotten off the phone. You're not going to remember everything, especially, you know, once you get off the phone and, you know, you get back immersed in your life, especially if you are a mom, you got kids, you got a husband, you got to cook dinner and do this and do that. You got projects you need to do at work and all this, you know, you're not going to remember everything. That's the, this is the reason why I give you, you know, the coaching guide and the video recorders. This is the reason why you have access to, to me through email and through phone, because we are on this journey together. When I say that we are partners in this, we are partners in this. After you go through three months of coaching with me, we are family, okay? We are family. So, you know, this is why I call myself a sister coach. And this is why, you know, sisterhood is, is the part of my foundation for my brand and how I do business. Because I just want to be able to show up and support you so you can feel seen and you can feel heard because your purpose matters. You matter, right? And you deserve to receive the type of support that you need in order to truly operate in your purpose. All right. So what's in it for you when you sign up? you know, with me throughout this three month coaching program. And I've talked a lot about that already. The first thing is a personal relationship with your sister coach, because yes, I'm, I'm your, you know, I'm your life coach. I'm your sister coach, your self-awareness coach, you know, but I want to have a relationship. This is a relationship, right? This is a relationship. So I'm all about being very, you know, personable with you and making this a personal customized experience because that's what you need when you're hiring a life coach you're hiring someone who's going to give you the attention that you desire and deserve all right so you definitely get that because that's what i'm all about you're going to get a partner on the journey a partner on your self-awareness journey right I know how it feels to set this big, big gigantic goal and have no idea where to start how to get there, or have no idea if it's possible for me, just based off of my history and where I come from. Like, I know how that feels. I know how it feels to have to figure everything out on your own, but I also know how it feels when you have a support system in place. I know how it feels, you know, to have a support system in place and to reach your goal quicker and faster and easier. I know how it feels, right? I know both sides of the spectrum. So that's what you get from me. You get a partner on the journey because I know there's value in having a partner who's willing to put you first, put your priorities first and give you all the time and attention that you need right? Someone who's just as dedicated as you operating in your purpose as you are, but not more than you, because I can't want it more than you, but I can want it for you just as much as you want it for yourself. So if you show up, I'll show up, all right? So what's in it for you? You're going to learn tools to overcome common issues, right? common issues that we all go through like what are those tools like how do you do that like people talk about why you need to do something and what you need to do but how do i do it i give you the how that's all we talk about and work on is the how within those three months while implementing all right also you know um you get clarity and motivation but also an action plan, right? Because it's one thing to know your purpose. It's a whole nother thing to operate in your purpose because we all know what our purpose is. It's just the majority of us are not operating in purpose for one reason or another. And we get to the bottom of those reasons for you within those three month, within the three month period, right? And we, you know, shift some things and pivot some things around to change your mindset. So you are, you know, operating from a place of, of a purpose and not feeling shameful and guilty about it or afraid to do so. 
all right and then also um you'll get all of the materials that i talked about and showed you you know on today you'll get that after you know going through the three month coaching program with me and then also the strategy guide afterwards as well so you can you know just look back and review when you need to all right and then also you get a safe judgment-free zone where you can be vulnerable these are the things that you get with me so you get a sister for life and you get you know an opportunity and a place to go and just really say that scary goal out loud and not be judged by it uh, but held accountable to make it happen or challenge you to make sure that that goal is yours. Someone that's going to challenge you to make sure that that vision is yours. Right? Because if you know any part of my story, you know the vision I have for my life, it didn't belong to me. And once I realized it didn't belong to me, I had to let it go. And that was the scariest thing that I did in life. So I know how it feels for your world to be turned upside down because you finally come to grips with the fact that what you've been chasing, what you know to be normal or a definition of success is not even your definition. Or that dream won't even belong to you. I know how it feels. And I've been through the journey and I've come out on the other side. And I just want to partner with you and help you through, you know, that time if that's where you are in your life as well. So that is it. That's all I have for you guys. Hopefully, I've been able to demystify life coaching for you and also. <clears throat> clear up a misconception about the services that I provide and who I serve and also just give you more information on who I am, my three-month coaching program, and what it looks like to work with me. So if you have any additional questions, please leave them below this video or reach out to me at info at LakeishaWooder.com for more information about my coaching program or to sign up for my coaching program. All you have to do is go to LakeishaWooder.com forward slash coaching and I'll make sure to leave those links um, in the description area of this video as well. So thank you so much for joining and watching me on today. If you know anyone who needs life coaching, please send them this video, send them my website, send them the link lakeishawooder.com forward slash coaching and tell them to watch this video and to sign up, you know, for the three month coaching program. All right. And if you want to, you know, sponsor somebody for three months of coaching, reach out to me, info at LakeishaWooder.com so we can have a conversation about it. All right. So guys, thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to working with you very, very soon.